I'm a northerner. I'm from Kano State. And I have been accused by colleagues and brothers in a very civil political discussion of dominating the polity, dominating the economy, and dominating the security. So I ask the question, if I dominate the polity, I have the president. Yes, I have the executive council and appointees that are constitutional, just like every other state. But what is my economic situation? And what is my security situation today? So the question is, is it working for me if I dominate somebody? It's not. The question is, look at all the indices of development. The North today is actually worse off. Security, education, prosperity, development. I don't know. What have you? The North is not very well positioned. In fact, other parts of the country that have been pushed off in opposition space have managed to organize themselves into a survival mode and come up with a credible economic and development model. So I will say to you that, look, I think this country needs to be reviewed and I think need to be fairly and equitably structured. I've always advocated for what I call development federalism. Development federalism, in my view, is a consensus by the six regions and Abuja to create a development template over time and devolve power gradually to the regions and to the states. The truth of the matter is we all need to go back to our states. If all the states are working, the federation will be working because development is not in isolation. Everywhere you go is either a local government or the state. So if you devolve power to the local government and to the states and then create an economic investment template in the form of development federalism, which basically brings the potential of South-South to be an oil and gas hub in Africa, we will stop importing petroleum products. We will stop importing things that we should be exporting and we will become net exporters of that product. The Southeast, we all know, are very ingenious people with technology, manufacturing, and trading. Please, let us invest heavily. Let us leverage on our resources to and raise the capital to invest heavily in manufacturing so that we don't import things from India. We don't import things from China. We import and we produce these things we need for agriculture and for our transportation and other industrial machinery in the East. It's doable. I've been to Newi. I've been to the industrial hub of Aba. I've seen what the East can do. We will be proud to say, made in Aba, produced in Aba, made in Nigeria. And we will all be proud citizens. And the economy of the East will be a net contributor to the center. The same thing with the Southwest. Southwest dominantly is a manufacturing and marine economy. Singapore is exactly like that. And therefore, if we develop the marine economy, the ports and the manufacturing base of the Southwest, we will be net exporters of goods and services and service providers in marine. And therefore, the Southwest economy will become net contributor. If you take the three regions of the North, Central, East and West, and you take the three countries of Cambodia, Thailand and Vietnam, our economy is almost the same thing. So, and these countries are booming individually. If you invest today in these regions in agriculture, agro-processing and organized market with the standards for exports, standards for feed in Africa, we're even lucky that the African continental free trade argument is in effect. We have the whole of African market to ourselves and the world. We will be one of the richest regional zones in Nigeria. Therefore, the North will now become net contributor to the center. And Abuja can maintain our sovereignty, can maintain our identity, can maintain our defense, can maintain our currency, and we raise the flag. Now I am saying honestly, the structure of this country is not working. In, uh, decades back, if I sit down here and say to you that I want this country restructured, if I go back to Kano, I probably will be uh, you know, stoned or, 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 or harassed. But I can tell you now that the reality of the country's structure is down on everybody that it's not workable. And this is one of the factors that made us realize all of that. We used to think that it is about getting a super leader, a credible leader that can move this country forward. And we actually bask in the Europea of, oh, he is our president. And I think in history of this country, there was never an individual 
and there still has not, we haven't had one that has enjoyed the support of the ordinary people, that has raised the hope of everybody, that has the credibility to say that his individual credibility will rub on the country leadership than President Muhammadu Buhari. And the North rooted for him for decades and spent money and time and invested so much in his becoming the president of this country. Today, we are discussing all the challenges the country is facing under the same President Muhammad Buhari. So we are coming to the realization that it's not about individuals now. It's about the system. It's about the fact that the system is cobbled in such a way that there is what I will call a pull him down syndrome. There is internal squabbles for power and positions. There are forces working counterproductively for the way the country move forward. And all of those forces emanates from those regional dynamics. The sense, real or otherwise, of marginalization, the sense of domination, the sense of um, um, opportunity and patronage is uh, skewed to one part of the country or one ethnic groups. And all of these perceptions are becoming reality in our life. Reality in the sense that there are examples we can show. Another most important thing was that the president was perceived to be, like we said, a general, but also a very, very credible anti-corruption crusader. He has stated this, he has demonstrated this, he has lived this. And now we are witnessing that the system can actually leak and can invite people who can actually be marauders that can wreak havoc on the system. Unfortunately, the president's capacity and individual integrity did not stop all of that. So we are coming to a point where we are saying, you know what? It's not working anymore. 